It's a privilege to be at AHIMA and to present to you a clinical pearl. About five or six years ago, Dr. Lee Cowden came to me and was talking about the importance of detoxification in the axillary lymph because of breast implants. And at that time, we had quite a discussion and I understood the relevance of it. As we look at the dental work, we know when there is a root canal that that's a foci and at some point it's going to be a challenge for the person. And I say sometime because the operative word here is yet. They're not sick yet. They may not even notice it, but we in our practices realize what goes on when there is that kind of situation going on in the mouth. I believe that the same thing is happening with women that have breast implants. Now we've had, uh, we've had recalls and all these other things, but nevertheless, whether or not they leak, there's still an impact on the body. And I believe that this is the next big wave of toxicity that we in the holistic community are going to be dealing with. And it's serious. So there's still things that need to be known about it and things to be done. And so I, I thank Dr. Cowden for bringing this to my attention and what I can do to help. So um, I have a handout and if you'll check with Lisa, she has it and we'll ship it out to you. But I would like to introduce a lady to you. She came to me in May of 2015 and she was referred by our own Dr. Mark Starr. She had uh, gut issues, so I began to take care of those and we did several treatments and she decided to do some lymphatic drainage and at that point she was then looking at why was she tired, why did she have all these symptoms and what could she do about it. She focused in on the breast implants, became extremely knowledgeable, has brought me up to speed in so many ways and I'm just uh, honored and blessed to have been part of her approach to getting well. So, Jenna. Thank you so much, Vicki. I feel honored and blessed to have been working with you. And uh, thank you to the members of AHIMA for having me here this evening. Um, it is truly a privilege to be able to speak on this subject. And I am here um, for one major reason, and that is to pay it forward for all the women who helped me and helped educate me as I learned about why I was so sick and how to get better. Um, and I'm especially honored to be able to speak to a professional group of practitioners because um, I want to let you know a tidal wave is coming. You're right about that, Vicki. Um, there are um, tens and thousands of women who don't know that they're sick yet from breast implants. Um, there are Facebook groups, support groups out there um, one in particular I joined last fall when I was first learning about breast implant illness. There are about 400 members at that point. There's now over 10,000. Wow. Uh, that's all across the country. There's a group here in Phoenix uh, that's just about 150 women here. Um, and there are dozens more joining these groups every day. Also, for 2015, the explant procedure surgery was uh, number 10 on the top most popular uh, plastic surgery procedures. So when I say there's a tidal wave coming, there is a tidal wave coming. Um, and you're right, Vicki, about the recalls and uh, the moratorium that was on these uh, implant devices back in the 90s. Uh, what the implant manufacturers have done was remade them and they're even worse than they ever were before. Uh, so the women who are getting sick are getting even sicker. Uh, there's quite a difference between women who are ill from saline and women who are ill from silicone, but there's also quite an overlap. On the saline women, you'll see mostly um, mold, uh, Lyme symptoms, co-infections, that sort of thing, and the women who are sick from silicone are more kind of the traditional autoimmune issues, but there's a lot of overlap there. Um, it is a very specific set of symptoms, and I included my own on the handout that Vicki provided uh, for some reference. But it is uh, very common fatigue, chronic pain, unexplained weird uh, rashes, anxiety, gut issues, endocrine issues. Um, and the women who are going to be bouncing around and finding lots of other doctors before they find you are going to be very, very sick women. Um, and I am 
hoping to raise the warning flag that um, it's time to be prepared for these women coming in your doors. I personally saw about 15 doctors before I figured it out. Um, and, I, and, I'm on the, and I'm on the shorter side of that, really. Um, and they're presenting with issues, like I said, that are um, gut, detox, mold, uh, endocrine, hormonal issues and have been around to all these allopathic doctors, many of them given rounds of antibiotics, round of drugs, round of um, antidepressants, anti-anxiety medicine, uh, medications, and they're, they're really, really severely ill. Um, so what I wanted to share with you this evening um, is first of all, um, to help them understand that they can get better because when you're a person who's that sick and um, bounced around from so many doctors without reading uh, or without, under, uh, without finding someone who can help you, it's a very, very deep, dark hole of fear. <laughs> um, and I wanna share with as many women as I, as I can that I'm getting better and that they can get better as well. Um, I listed also in the handout that Vicki provided a lot of resources of information and I, and I actually thought about that as, as kind of a packet. My hope is that you would take this information back to your office and put it in your files and when you get a woman who comes in and you're starting to see some of those red flags that it might be breast, breast implant illness, um, I designed this, the information that I provided as a packet that you could give them as a starting point to help educate themselves because you really do have to become, as I call it, a PhD from Google, Google University <laughs> in understanding and, and how to get better. Um, so there's tons of information in here for them and also for the practitioners working with them as a starting point. And um, I hope that can help in any way for the women that are coming. I'm sure it will. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Jenna. Thank you. So I just want to close this little segment by letting you know that on my sheet, I put down the things that were of highest importance. Some you may have access to, some you may not. Some that I can't provide, you do. So you need to do colon hydrotherapy. Um, it's best if you have ozonated water. If not, you can do rectal ozone. Lymphatic drainage, I prefer the electronically assisted lymph drainage. However, manual drainage can be successful. Uh, with ozone, you want uh, your colon hydrotherapy, you want rectal ozone and ozone saunas. Uh, reforestation, get the milieu, get the microbiota strong. It needs to be done monthly, if not weekly, and of course it depends upon how their detox channels are and, and how their intestinal tract works. Also far infrared, whether it's a sauna or a lamp. Uh, liver detoxification has to be buckled with this, and then of course, any homeopathic detoxification and drainage. So, get in touch, use this information, get in touch with me, and Jenna would also be, excuse me, <clears throat> willing to talk with you as well. Thank you. Thank you.